Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, when we last left off, we are about to prepare to start the war against Assyria once we get Keshigs unlocked. In the meantime, we'll take out some, bar some barbarians to get this vampire a little stronger. So we're going to have these two attack the encampment and then the horse should be able to chase that scout down. I should have checked out how much land is over here. But I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. If bread is the first necessity of life. Let's get that uh, governor title. And we'll go probably ancestral all. What do we want here? We're really close. Let's get another hero. Couldn't hurt. And then we will see. Hmm. Unlocked. Oh. Wonderful, wonderful. So we've unlocked another governor. Let me think. So when do we get medieval era? Oh, we should be in there already. Um, okay, a bit odd. Well, we're gonna get another governor in a second. But then again, as I'm thinking, yeah, we're gonna get Amani. I'm tired of <laughs> losing all these city states to the AI. Do we need to make any changes here? What are we paying in unit cost? A decent amount. We're probably not going to be buying tiles. Let's get a great general sooner rather than later. And things are running pretty smoothly right now, so we're going to get a horseman and choir relatively soon. We'll be getting that uh, hero. We're first going to take Geneva out. Then I think we're going to go. Well, maybe we'll do it at the same time. We'll see. Looks like they got some decently strong defense. Now we want to make sure our vampire is near the kill. I'm still shocked that that's... See, we also got 15 turns on Beowulf. He's really gonna create a beachhead for us because we'll get back to that in a sec. God darn, we lost. We lost the hero. Let's just get another horseman. So his ability, uh, we'll showcase it soon. Beowulf can actually delete enemy units, which is just as useful and overpowered as it sounds to be able to quite literally just delete <laughs> other units okay one more turn Now it's time to start positioning our units. Because we have a decently strong army. I think we're going to go into Geneva with force. We're going to quickly solve that problem. Take this campus and roll south. We might even 
because cash eggs are so strong, we might even just open up all the fronts right at once. Heal you up. Start sending him south. Really could use an encampment. But where? No, let's do a little city planning real quick. So we'll probably do aqueduct. Commercial hub. Industrial zone. Hmm. I guess an encampment here wouldn't hurt. I don't see what I'm gonna be ruining if I put it there. We'll move them there next turn. Might be time just to get this guy back. I don't think we're really gonna find much out. And we could pay them for open borders, but during wartime, that is open borders. Ooh, if we can get Arthur. Few inventions have been so, few inventions have been so simple as the same. Nice. We got mathematics too. Can we get Arthur? Oh uh, yeah, we're going for Arthur then. Uh, I'd be a great hero to have for a, particularly Mongolia, but for any war base civ, that's a great hero to have. I don't wanna necessarily spend the money on the Keshigs. I'd rather Yeah, there we go. I'd rather spend the investment into infrastructure that will allow us to build cash eggs quickly. Because a single cash egg is a one-time payoff. But multiple... Hmm, 15 turns, really? Are we really that... Hmm. Yeah, it's not the greatest, but we'll have to take it. Let's just take this. I know we're gonna get it with Imani, but I wanna start getting Diplo favor as soon as possible. And I also want to. So I also don't wanna worry about it. Maybe we will actually buy a Keshik. Just advance the turn for now. Who is Arma? Do they have a suzerain? No. So we only have them for twelve turns. That's why I'm concerned. Let's just buy the cash here. Next turn, we begin the assault on Geneva. The sea seemed to roll back oh, upon itself oh. and to be driven from. Nice. Well, I wish it. Wow. I mean, this tile is insane, but really? Really? Come on now. What a waste of great tiles. Oh, I think actually we might be able to get, let's fingers crossed, we can get a second vampire. That'll really give us some, some power. Fire again begin. Invincibility lies in the defense. Nice, nice. Okay, so. Really? What do I need? I guess we're technically not in the medieval area yet. We're gonna hold on to that governor. It's definitely gonna be useful soon enough. Get some iron working going. 
military training. So you could use granary. We could definitely use some production in this city as well. But let's take actually that that boost for a second sea resource. And we'll start the party. Now's the stage where we're about to lose a lot of friends, really. Did I declare him as a friend? I thought we chose not to renew that. Hmm. Okay. Darn it. We have no way to get around it. Well, at least we know he won't do anything about this. Geneva will just be ours. See, a target an adjacent enemy with combat strength less than Beowulf and immediately destroy the target. So, bye bye. That's just so overpowered. It feels so gratifying though, so just goodbye. Sorry you spent all that time on that unit. Um, let's see. I think we're still pretty happy with this. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hmm. we could do open borders, but we're going to potentially have loyalty issues. We would have to take Dundee and Sterling really quickly, and then really, the made you know, again, of iron. we'd have to move. But we probably could. We probably could move through Scotland pretty quickly. So, we'll see how that pans out. Um, <laughs> we're going to delete the stronger one, even though he's not in the city. And Yeah, there's a warrior in the city, so, or sorry, not a warrior, a worker in that city, so I really don't mind just taking it for the health. And we'll attack with Beowulf. We'll move this uh, horse, hopefully get the pillage off, but the priority is taking this city. <laughs> Finally get around into the wheel. Nice Gar Celestial navigation boost. Oh, this land's fantastic. I can't wait to get over there. That's what you're up to, Xanadu. Um, Molly, what? Can I... I can't really sell anything, though, can I? Maybe that's it. Maybe we'll just go up. Tini tropo auxesis tensenar gen. Iu, tu la ugene kamakis. Odd timing for that comment right after I started invading everyone. And this should slow down his science gain because looks like he Don't does have invent those who in quarrels some good science. Gilgamesh. And goodbye. See, so yeah, he already has plus two strength from the barbarians that have died near him. And I wish I could say this that he was remotely challenging, but it really hasn't been. Ah, uh, not enough to pillage. Very well then. Oh, 
We got fuel as boost. Wonderful. Just quickly pick up astrology. Might as well get feudalism. It's a nice tech and it'll help uh, this little triangle out right there. Find you a granary here. This is where it's a tough decision. Do we march up to Gao? Interesting. I don't think this really matters. All well, then again, with the open borders. But who would he join my ongoing war against? Oh, I would join his war against Alexander. Oh, oh they're at war. Okay. Interesting. Really? Can't even give me ten? Fine. Ah, uh, well then again. I'd rather have the money now and renegotiate the money later. Hmm. Really? Very well. I'll sell it straight up. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that probably means that Scotland will be. Well, again. We could just clean up the north. I don't believe in Estrel. Let's see how many turns do I have on you? Eight. Hmm. Just how long is it going? It's going to take a while. I feel like to get the vampire up, to get the cash eggs up. But we do have a lot of horses, and we will be getting Arthur. Yeah, let's commit. Let's do it. You guys don't need to be at full strength right now. We'll give you the Coursers upgrade. You transfer the choir. I should help him get there just in time, but we'll quickly find out, I'm sure. Kind of want to buy this, but I'd rather save up for another cash in for that war. Our vampire will chill here. He uh, he's not gonna get up all the way up there quick enough to really be of any use in my opinion. So we'll just keep him down here to defend the south. Oh yeah, but we're also gonna have Milta's help. And they are looking pretty weak. I'm shocked that they're, yeah, that he's losing loyalty somehow. The settler is a bigger priority than growing this city right now. Probably. Yeah. Let's go with that. Nice. We got Arthur. Let's build that encampment while we wait to be able to declare war down here. Move you all the way to choir. We're gonna turn him into a questing knight. This warrior. And probably that weak 
second course right here. Hmm. We got a builder there. Keeps asking me this. We want another vampire. That's what we want. Can we build a mine here in the grassland? Alright, we'll improve the dyes then. Hmm. Can I actually have purchased a cache last turn? Well, I'd still, well, I could buy it in Xanadu actually. We'll check that out next turn. Ew. Sorry, man. <laughs> now I feel kind of bad for invading them, but the army's already marching. I'm sorry, he was a good ally, a good trading partner, but unfortunately for him, I made a mistake, <laughs> and I just so happened to stay friends with him for too long. Sorry Molly, I guess it eventually had to happen. Ooh, gained 40 gold, and okay, I can actually use this pretty effectively to get, I'm going to get a Monopoly Inquire, which will make this city far stronger, and then we'll probably try and work our way towards this wonderful tile, or actually, maybe we'll take the diamonds, repair the monument, so I'm thinking through so where my city like where not my city my unit placement's gonna be because it is a little awkward the prep at least let's move him here we'll move the horsey you can go here nice we'll get another cache go I gotta be honest, I'm actually uh, very happy with how the military's progressing. I I don't see how this helps me. <laughs> I'm not using iron, buddy, I'm sorry. You know, Scotland might actually... He probably should be paranoid. The only reason he's still alive is because I was a dumb butt. I actually, Scotland might be... Nice, we got a golden age, so actually I think we're gonna make Oh every time he he's like a very smart AI. Creates with the hearts, with the he really of is. He's handling it probably exactly how it used to get handled back in the days of Kublai Khan, where you see the horde, the Mongolian horde riding up and you're like, hey, just wanted to talk about how good friends we are. Uh, you know, uh, good pals. Good pals. Unfortunately, I must capitalize on all this production and gold I've spent. I think we're going to get a lot of Eurekas. Actually, we're going to take this because I don't. we don't have any commercial hubs yet. We do have a few districts, and so I'd like to be getting the culture from them. Particularly since it's not like we're super far behind on tech. I don't even think we are behind on tech. No, not at all. 19, 23. I mean, again, everyone who's ahead of us is, you know, soon to be invaded. Nice, we'll take this, then we'll take that. Get my cache up north. And then honestly, we probably don't even need more military units up here. We'll take Cahokia while we're at it. 
but I think this is a large enough army. I know the heroes will expire, but even after the heroes expire, we're gonna have a horse, two horses, two Keshigs. It's gonna be tough for this early in the game. Keshigs are tough, tough period, particularly early game. And we're probably closing in on, yeah, there we go. It's not gonna be easy for anyone to stop us at this point. Actually, it's funny, he has a high, the second highest military score, but I mean, look at it. Catapults aren't gonna hold up. Yeah, I feel bad for him. Ooh, if we can push this, uh, we've been selling it. We don't really, in all honesty, care all that much. I mean, if everyone doesn't like us, that's fine because, well, everyone's on the menu. Hmm. I like him enough. I'm just gonna be honest with him. <laughs> And honestly, we're in a position where we can play honest because the difference in power is just incomprehensible. He stands no chance of stopping us, I hate to say for him. And for those of you wondering, I am playing on Emperor instead of Deity. Uh, I normally play multiplayer games, but I thought I'd get back in the swing of things when it comes to single player. So I'm just kind of ironing out my gameplay at a lower level to be able to take that knowledge to my upcoming um, Deity games. Which I'm looking forward to. I always really like uh, refining my gameplay with new sims. I've already used this turn. I don't want them to get like badly hurt. Let's just move them both up one. Maybe I could have healed him actually. And then, yep, we'll send the great general. Yeah, see, I almost feel bad with how poorly this war is going to go for them, but I'll find a way to get over it, <laughs> I'm sure you all will too. Now let's see, what do we have, I honestly wouldn't be too bad to get another Keshe. Because as soon as our friend, actually, I'll do it, Robert, we're going to become friends. I do need a single ally on this continent because I want someone who, I forgot about you, okay. Because we're going to want to trade uh, with people. And we're gonna want, you know, we're gonna want to have an alliance that we can be flexible with. So let's say later in the game, and the spices for 120. Really, you want all that? Hmm. I wish you just counter. What do you want to give me for it? How much are you gonna give me per? Okay, well, this is ridiculous. Yeah, one way or another, you are going to give me what I want. <laughs> He's attacking the city. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Who, uh, who's Gilgamesh? Okay, Kaguana. Ooh, it's going to be a really nice city. I can't wait to invade it. I'm surprised, actually. I, I, I really haven't 
been paying a lot of attention. Normal people believe that. And this kind of chain of cities is actually pretty high already. Nine pop, seven pop, seven pop, six here. Pleasantly surprised with that. Alrighty, so let's get. Because he's about to expire. So, goodbye. Mm, can the quest of night just delete? This, eh, actually, you can just delete this city, it looks like. I, I thought about upgrading them first, but. I don't even think we'll need that. I think we might be able to just take this city right now. But, you know, I, I'm, I changed my mind, kind of. I kind of want to just clear these units out while I can. Alright, I'm not sure we really have any more use to turn anyone else into a questing knight now. I don't really see how it's going to help us, because their lifespan is very short. So, I, there's no point in unnecessarily wasting units when he's clearly not going to be able to stop us. I probably should have upgraded him. Oh well. Hmm, let's get an Ordu out. Can't really do anything with Arthur at the moment. You gotta be nice and safe here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll take the money to support future wars. Now let's. Ooh, hold up. I think we. This will be the first time we trade with him. Nice. Shipbuilding and theology. Get some more gold in the coffers. I really want to get this tile. I'm really annoyed with myself for paying no attention to that scout. How many actions does he have? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need to keep him actually alive, won't I? Actually, how does that work? So I know I need a great merchant in order to build a corporation. I don't know if I can just hold on to him forever, though. Hey, look at the safe state. Good shot. Good shot. Way to go. Who are you? But you're not. There is nothing but a being a mercenary, though. Hey. Interesting. So they have no suzerain. Now they do. And we got Maui. Ooh, that's a great one if we can grab him anywhere. Can we grab him anywhere? Have I already recruited? I might have already recruited. We can. Okay. That's going to be a priority soon enough. Alright. I just don't think that's the right city to build it. Could use education. Let's see, so I'll move the questing knight up. Just immediately kill off that guy. And we'll attack the city because we only have two turns left. And then Arthur will take it. Here, we'll move the questing knight up, follow behind. Um, for me, right now, it's more important to get everything in the right spot for the push to the next city than it is to actually be doing damage this turn. We'll keep the city, obviously, because this is going to be our new kind of colony up north. Take theology. 
Um, like always, that monument up. Nice. Now we're gonna have to think where to put those. Uh, oh, hold up. Let's get you over there. I have to think where I want this. It might be tough to not put it here because those yields. It's also nice there. Uh, could be nice there. Could be a great one here. Hold up. Yeah, that looks like a clear choice for a vampire castle. But then there's also these tiles. That's tough. That's tough. Let's just move them out of the city regardless. Protect you. No need to attack the bad terrain. Moving you up. Actually, it might have been quicker just to keep them and transport them. But I do see that we're over the 30 mark, so pause this episode here and see everyone next time.